Hello, thanks for watching another episode of Clutch Trick Gaming. Today we're going to be building the BMW X5M as an A800 racer. I got the idea for this because I'd been facing some online adventures where the cars that were being picked were A's, B's, and D's instead of like the cars I had in my garage, which were all X and S1, S2 class cars. So I've actually gone back and bought this just so I could build it specifically as a lower level race car to have in my stable for those special times when a race is created and you don't really have the right car. So stay tuned and watch as I build, paint, and race the BMW X5M. The BMW X5M is a pretty aggressive SUV to start with here. I really love the way those big scoops look on the front bumper and the way the fenders kind of look like muscle bumps, kind of muscly looking there. So it starts out as a B-class car. I think that's like $699. It's really, it's really up there to start with. has a fair amount of horsepower and um, it comes all-wheel drive. So it's not too shabby to start with, but to really get out there and compete, especially with some cars that are already in A-Class, you're going to have to maximize the performance without spending too much money and without throwing too many parts at it, causing it to go up into like the S1, S2 territory. So I'm really having to be careful here and pick and choose things kind of based off what I know works and also really watching that class reading on the side there you can see here if i go up to the just a different tire it puts me all the way up to an s1 and i don't want to go that far so what can i do here just to 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 eke out every little bit of performance i can without going over the a class mark things i'm going to look at doing are improving my uh, handling and reducing weight more so than increasing power because uh, when you're trying to do this on sort of a, a modification budget if if you will then you know you can't just throw a ton at power and have something where you're just bouncing off the walls which I guess you can some people seem to do that but I want to try to run a good clean race and and win just straight out just just to to perform well so things like going with the full cage I'm probably not gonna do just because it adds 236 pounds and I can't really say that it's gonna help me out much I'm gonna look at things that improve handling like the spoilers here so I can adjust my downforce and I, that rear spoiler I think actually took me down a notch as far as the the class so that that could actually help in that regard now, tires here, I'm not a big fan of the ones that say Horizon on them. But tires are something you definitely need to improve on, some from stock. And it, it looks like it's kind of fighting me here. If I go too much with tires, it's putting me over my limit. So, let's see if, if I just change tire size, maybe I can increase traction some without increasing the class of the car. Again, wheels wheels are a great way to reduce weight on a car, whether it's real life or, or in game, to try to increase performance. We're going to come back to that. Let's see here. I really think that chin spoiler is something I want to keep. The wheels don't seem to affect my rating too much or the, the car class too much. You can see here, depending on the weight of the wheel, it changes the class to some degree. So sorry if you hear the neighbor's dog barking over there. Um, so I want a wheel that looks good but drops weight on this car. 
And I, I always get hung up on the wheel section on this game. I could just spend all day on wheels. I usually tend, when I'm trying to build something to actually perform, I usually tend to go down to the weld wheels. I like those. They're just kind of a basic type wheel. They don't have a lot of spokes and flashy look to them or anything. And they don't attract too much attention to the wheel itself. It allows the car to still be the pretty part, if you want to say that. Uh, but they're really some of the lightest weight wheels in the game, so I like using them for that fact. So I think I'll go to the welds. Let's uh, see. I like those. I like that one, but it doesn't really fit the car. Loses 58 pounds, though. That's a big deal. Let's see. Here's the two weld wheels. 58 pounds. Both of them are going to drop us 58 pounds. So... These five stars are just kind of plain looking. I think I'll go with that for now. The car actually kind of looks good with the big fat tires in the back. The fenders kind of muscled out like I mentioned. And then these wheels actually, I kind of like the way it looks there. Wheel size on here, the actual rim diameter supposedly helps with handling some. Not sure. Let's see what we can do. We do need to add some horsepower without going over the 800. So let's see. You kind of have to weigh your options on, you know, an engine swap. Is engine swap worth it or is it going to take you too much? Should you maybe modify what you already have? Don't want to install that. I'm really bad about clicking the wrong buttons here. Let's see. So here, after doing the swap and turboing, I'm, I'm looking for how I can get a little more power, a little more torque out of this vehicle without going too far. Looks like increasing displacement and compression, those are some no-brainers anytime you want to increase power. Uh, open up the airflow a bit. And we're starting to get up closer. 797 now, I can't go much further. Uh, let's see. Puts me right at 800. Okay. So now I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything else I can do that doesn't increase my rating. Keeps me at 800, but allows me to still modify some. There's not many things that allow you to do that. sometimes hard to decide which suspension to go with when you're doing the online adventures because you never know if it's going to be asphalt or if it's going to be mixed surface or rally so kind of debate a little bit here I think what I can do is use a rally suspension it gives me a little more flexibility I can lower the car if I want to so this takes us from 547 horsepower up into the 700 range and let's see now I'm going to kick on some music after I do a quick tune and I'm going to quickly paint this but I don't want to take all your time watching me paint this is not a paint tutorial so I'm going to do a really rough tune on here and then I'm going to start some music let it go through the paint cycle and once the paint is over I'm going to show some uh, some of the race footage that I can capture here with this car and let's just see what you think if you see me online definitely definitely join me so we can race some and I'd love to race you with this car I really I like this thing so stay tuned here don't don't drop off just kick back and enjoy some music and watch some painting here
as you can see, the BMW X5M is excellent on the launch, the takeoff. It just blasts past everything else coming off the line. After that, it's still a big heavy heavy uh, SUV, so it's not like it's you know some little race car or sports car here. You've got a big heavy luggy thing that's swinging through the turns. I find that sometimes I actually have to use a parking brake a little bit to kick the rear end out for the tight turns. It's also not real strong on the top end. You don't have a lot of top speed. So it's kind of one of those cars where at the beginning of the race, you get out ahead of everybody and then you just pretty much fight to stay there with it. Now I have found that it is forgiving because it accelerates so well and you're about to see here in a second that uh, when you make a mistake, because this car accelerates so well, it really kind of helps you to pull back out of there and, and make up for that mistake. So this race here, which looks like it's a done deal, actually winds up being a really close call. You can see here I'm at about 74% completion. And I think it's this turn right here. Nope, not this turn right here. Coming up in a second, it's this turn right here. Maybe this turn. Yeah, you can see right there, I just barely missed that flag. So if you know as well as I do, when you miss a flag, it pretty much, that's it, and you're done for the race. So here we are at 82% completion. I just had a little car blow by me and I'm having to come from a dead stop. But thanks to the superior acceleration of this X5, I'm able to get past the guy, even though he's being a jerk and trying to block me and still pull off the win. So guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Have a great day.